It's really important to understand that, like no other, is, is the embodiment of all the marketing communication. So everything that you see coming from Sony will be expressed in a, a like no other way. And that's a good sort of challenge for, for the people uh, within the company, to think and act like no other. And where we really kind of um, sort of formed the strategy, it was more about uh, the people at Sony and their attitude and their passion and their desire to deliver perfection. That's what makes Sony like no other. There's this, this line that we're going to use at the end of the commercial, which will be color like no other. And our research shows that that's what, you know, that's the, that's the most important thing in people's minds when they're purchasing a new TV. So what we sought to do was to take the color reference and to associate it with Sony TVs. We're doing something that is so different from the competition. If you look at what Philips and Panasonic and all those guys are doing, they're focusing very much on the, on the technology and doing quite sort of rational communications. This is much more about connecting with people emotionally. Yeah, it's one of those ideas that you don't need to write a script. It's just a really simple visual uh, celebration of colour and I think it truly delivers the sort of like no other uh, thought. Next one. We sought to do it in a fun way, we sought to do it in a vibrant, youthful way. It's something that people will talk about. These balls are going to come hell-bent for election over this hill, okay? Never in the history of advertising has anyone thought to throw 250,000 balls down the San Francisco street. It's all about the balls, you know, and the colour of uh, the multicolours and, and the vitality and the organic flow of that. It was crucial that we were that they were bouncy balls. This is going to be better and better for you as the ball progresses down the hill, yeah? We just thought about footballs, tennis balls, uh, ping pong balls, all the kinds of balls that we could color up, you know, but it really was very important that... They have, like, life of their own. They, you know, once you throw them, they just go and they end up anywhere. Unpredictable. Sorry, that was a, quite a girly scream. I'm sorry about that. Told every every fun fair, you know, dealer in America, and every Tivoli man, and asked to to get hold of all their bouncy balls. So, so there's there's no bouncy ball for kids in America at this, at this present moment. They got about 25,000 balls coming that way. We got about uh, 25,000 balls coming this way. Which is trying not to break any windows. And there are 23 people in the camera department. Normally it's four. You have multiple chances to do a take. Here we're doing it once. I confirm we're locked up. Pictures up. That's what we're gonna do for two days, yeah? That's funny, huh? How was that? Yeah. They don't talk back to you. <laughs> and they never sit in makeup. And they never make you wait on the set. And they throw no tantrums. Um, they're pretty cool characters, these balls. And I gotta say, you know, everyone becomes like a child around them. So uh, it's really neat to see people just running around catching balls and sticking them in their pockets. Come on, how often do you get to launch 170,000 Super Balls on San Francisco? Stand by, turn over, speed, and action! Nice. Cut, cut the camera. There's sort of an extra bit of soul that I think comes from shooting stuff that's real. And action! <laughs> Todd, thank you. That was nice. I, I like what happened on the bike. Thank you very much. We got it. But I think it's all about sort of like celebrating colours of the world and it's why we're here doing this in this particular place. Sonny's saying like it's like no other and I think that's the heart of the why we've done it with Bother because it is really like no other. We've done it for real. It's not like we've done it on CG or whatever. You know what I mean? I think there's something important about doing it for real yeah. and not cheating. It's the one that proves that it works.
Really, really excited to be involved in it and hope it's as good as that first sort of like, whoa, hope it turns up like that on the screen. I don't know where the sound thing will end up, but regarding this, I think it should, should be quite simple. We've been listening to some sort of Jose Gonzalez, just gentle guitar stuff. I think something that makes you feel nice rather than sort of the advertising way of going, let's put something odd against it, or I just think it should end up feeling sort of good. track that they've gone with as well it's just it's stripped down it's not very you know it's not trying too hard and just watching it it just feels really natural and you just kind of relax and enjoy it and every time I watch it I kind of just sort of puts me in a nice little place which is quite a nice feeling all you want them to really understand is one that it's from Sony and two that uh, Sony has this unique sort of promise of colour like no other. If everyone that goes into a shop to purchase a television set immediately associates Sony televisions with brilliant colour, there is great, great opportunity for, for success. So